What's the funniest thing you've experienced in your job? The funniest thing? Well, um, well, I like to have a lot of humor at the office. I think people who work together a lot and have a good relationship um, can joke around a little bit here and there. Um, I think the funniest thing happened actually to one of my colleagues and they I played a little bit of a practical joke on him. He. Um, he had a mouse that kept going into his desk and um, eating some of his snacks. So he put out a mouse trap, and the mouse was smarter than the mouse trap and kept eating the cheese. So he engineered a better mouse trap each time, trying to like outsmart the mouse with his ingenuity. And this mouse kept winning. And then one day, one of my other colleagues thought it would be funny. He cut some. I guess some roadkill, like an opossum or something, <laughs> off the side of the road and brought it in early in the morning. And he went in his desk and he put the opossum in the mousetrap and closed it away. <laughs> My colleague, the other one who built the mousetrap, was like bragging about how he's going to catch this mouse. And finally went in there. He goes, Look, I just built this like amazing engineering mousetrap. And he opens up this giant opossum. <laughs> and he started screaming. <laughs> laughing so hard we were like oh my gosh but anyway yeah that was one of our funny incidents that happened that is really funny <laughs> so what inspired you to pursue stem um <clears throat> i think i loved building things i really enjoyed taking things apart and making something and getting it to work and um even from a little kid i used to love to do that so how would you say your interest in chemical engineering kind of led you to pursue business? Um, well, I only got my undergrad in chemical engineering, um, and I did that because I wanted a very flexible engineering. But then I decided that um, I wanted to kind of pursue technology, and I went down that avenue. Um, and then I just felt like I could work on my own. and have the opportunity to work with different businesses at my own time scale and kind of pinch it and help out with those areas that I need an expert in. Mm -hmm. So what was your favorite thing about being the assistant VP of MBS Analytics? Oh, the best thing about it? Yeah. Um, I got to work with some really highly professional experts in their area. And I had to learn quickly. I had to move fast. I had to um, get yelled at a lot and make mistakes. Um, so it was a great environment to grow from. Mm -hmm. So as a woman in STEM and entrepreneurship, what struggles have you faced? Um, as a woman in STEM, um, I think sometimes it could be lonely. Um, I think you have to really be a real go-getter and um, be able to reach out to people and make those friendships, make those connections, um, and look past the factor that you might be a minority. I mean, you all love technology and what you do and um, utilize that as a common bond between you and your clients. and um the people you work with um because that's the reason why you went into STEM. so what in your past do you think has prepared you to have the entrepreneur mindset oh in my past entrepreneur mindset um i would say <laughs> the abundance of failures um even from my childhood i mean you have to have a thick skin and you have to have um the ability to pick yourself up and to move forward and not take it personally and to be afraid. You don't want to be afraid. You want to prepare um, and not be a perfectionist too much about it um, and to take that risk. You have to be able to 
bang on a whole bunch of doors and have the door slammed on you and it might feel very personal, you can't take it personally. Um, you have to look at those potholes in the road and say, gee, um, where can I grow from here? Um, and to look at it as an opportunity continually, not as a failure, but more like as a, uh, a redirection and a, a rethinking moment. Um, and to keep yourself in a positive mindset, just you know, moving forward and saying uh, achievement is possible. So how has your definition of success changed throughout your career? Oh, that's interesting. <clears throat> as an engineer by training, I think I really like the product. You know, I get very excited about the product and the technology and the fun of it all. Um, but as you kind of grow from there, you realize that the relationships are important um, and getting people to work together, understanding what your client wants, what's going to be successful and kind of you have to leave your own ego behind sometimes. You might say, this would be super cool or I'm the best at this but to kind of sit back and say, hey, this person's idea is better. Um, and to be brave about certain things, uh, taking those risks and chances and um, feeling success when you take that risk. And even if it's not 100% what you wanted, if you're kind of moving forward and you tried it, that's still a success and to build on those small milestones. You're not gonna get to here without moving up this small ladder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. So being both aspiring female tech entrepreneurs ourselves, we were wondering, if you could give one piece of advice to an aspiring female tech entrepreneur, what would it be? Oh, um, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. I mean, I think as women, we are really hard on ourselves. Um, we expect perfection. Don't expect that. Technology moves fast. You're gonna feel like an idiot. Okay, people might make you feel like an idiot, but understand that you're smart and you're capable and to move past that. Like don't, don't, you know, um, obviously you have to plan, obviously you have to do a ton of work. Um, but I think for women very often that fear comes in and we want to make do a perfect job with everything. And that stops us. It stops us in technology because it moves so fast. It's very hard to be an expert all the time. Um, we're afraid sometimes because we're alone. So don't be afraid of making friends with guys. It's okay. Um, and we're afraid to, of failure sometimes. Don't, don't let that fear, don't take it personally. Uh, plan on what's going to happen when it fails and, and move past it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just wanted to say thank you for your time and, you know, sharing about your experiences. Um, we both really enjoyed, you know, hearing about, you know, what you have to say from, you know, being a woman in STEM and entrepreneurship. So thank you so much for meeting with us today. Yeah, thank you so much. You're welcome.